It is time to kick off the Champions League campaign here in Season 4. Our first game in Group F. Are we Group F? I think it was. Is against Monaco. We've got Celta Vigo and Locomotive Moscow as the other clubs. So it's a good group. It really is. Our first game against Monaco at the Emirates. And the first question is, can you win the Champions League this season? We are ambitious. We have to believe in ourselves. This group of players can definitely win it. Yeah! Do you know what? Yes. And it's boosted the team morale. We're very happy. That's good to see. Can you kick off with a win? Um, we'll have to stay calm. Oh, we can't wait. No morale boost there, but that's okay. Uh, Monaco versus Arsenal looks a pretty even contest, does it? I will have to take a look at their team. Maybe they've made some really big signings. Uh, we'll focus on the performance. Let's just get straight into this game. Cannot wait to start the Champions League again. As you've probably guessed, we will be rotating the squad for some of these Champions League games, but not too much. It's not like we're completely changing the entire first team. Saka is still starting. We've got Sanchez in there. Martinez in goal, or do we go with Ramsdale in the Champions League? I'm undecided. I feel like, at least in the group stages, we should probably go with Ramsdale. But then when we get into the knockout stages, if we get there, then we should definitely play our best goalkeeper. Uh, the Sadi brothers in defence, that goes without question. When we're rotating the squad, it's good to get them both in. I'm going to keep Tierney in there. Sterling on the left. Abraham's going to start up front with Smith Rowe behind. Look, it's a good team. And although Monaco are probably the next best squad in this group stage, this team is good enough to beat them. Even with Sambi, Maitland-Niles, bringing down the overall rating a little bit, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. What I want to do, though, is rest Partey. I'm going to have Ramsey on the bench. I'm also going to bring in Palmer and give Erdegaard a proper rest. And Ketia and Nelson. Tavares, maybe I'll bring him on at some point as well. Yeah, why not? Do I start Tavares? No, I'm going to stick with Tierney for this one. And here we go. The Champions League journey begins again. All eyes on Saka. He's been incredible so far this season, although our form hasn't been superb. Now, they have made some big signings at Monaco. Kovacic is there. I noticed they had Turam as well on that left side. Adeyemi is in there. Unbelievable player. Uh, who else did I notice? I think it was Gallagher, the Chelsea youngster that's on loan at Crystal Palace. It's a good side, but it's not as good as ours. Simple as that, really. Is that Blind? Yeah, it is. I'm guessing they've still got Golovin and... Who was up front? Who was that? Oh, Simhen. Of course it was. I remember now. Yeah, it's, it's a good team. It really is. But I think... You know, one of the questions was in the press conference on paper that we're quite even. I disagree. Even with this second team, I would still argue we've got the stronger squad. Look at the space here for Tierney. We've got Abraham running into the box. It's too easy. Oh, my God. This is what happens when you have someone like Daly Blind, who is now, what, 35 years old or something, up against some really quick players. It's just not going to work, is it? Early goal for us. And Tammy Abraham, he returns to the team with a goal. I could have picked out Sterling as well. Both of them were in outrageous space. There's no way in a million years I would have scored that in the last game against Wolves or even the game against Tottenham, it felt like. The defenders were just not allowing that. But as soon as we go into a big game in the Champions League, it just, it just feels like the defenders are just bots. Well, obviously they're bots, but bad bots. Oh my God. I take it back. They're insane. <laughs> Osimen with an absolutely fantastic strike. Slams it into that top right corner. Ramsdale, welcome back to the team, man. Would Martinez have saved this? Absolutely not. <laughs> it is just one of those. It's going in, whether you like it or not. Here is Raheem Sterling. Over the top for Abraham. It's blocked. And I've lost it. Just like that. And now they're going to hit me on the break. Here's Turam. Oh, no. He's offside. He hit the post, but it was offside. My God, he is proving to be a nightmare. Salisu and Saliba are really struggling. They've got a very attacking formation. It's a 3-4-3, but it feels like a 3-3-4. <laughs> They've got so many players bombing forward every time they get the ball. They've got nothing to lose, I guess. You know, going to the Emirates. Go on, hit that. Oh, good save. I guess they're just going to go for it, aren't they? And that's what we need to do. Corner coming in from Sanchez. It's a good ball. Oh, Saliba was there, but Smith-Rowe's going to have to win this. Nice. Here's Saka. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Give it to Sanchez. He's onside. He's going to hit it. Saved. And he's going to catch it next. Damn. Okay. It's all right. I'm feeling confident. We're still going to win this game. I hope. What a ball. Oh, it was a good ball. Just not the right target. Here we go. Sterling! Get in there. Raheem the Dream makes it 2-1, 35 minutes in. This was, again, interesting defending. I don't know why that defender's coming for that, that header when they've got a defender right there already. I think that was Eric uh, Garcia. Is it Eric Garcia? I think they've signed him here at, uh, at Monaco. Well, I'm happy about that. 2-1. Now we just get to half time without conceding another one, okay? That's the idea anyway. Let's not concede from this corner then. Don't do it. Oh, he's lethal, isn't he? Absolutely lethal. He can do everything. Absolutely everything. He's basically the all-round striker. He reminds me of Isaac and Nasiri, you know, a bit of everything. Just so good and not fun to defend against, that's for sure. And that is a terrible pass. <laughs> Get us into the halftime break. I might make a couple of changes, actually. Although I'm winning the game, I'm just... Um, I don't know, I'm missing something. I'm not sure what it is, though. Do you know what? I actually think it might be behind the striker. I just want to change up something. I, I might put Sterling as the cam and have Nelson on the left. I might give it a go. There was just something... I, I don't know what it was. I feel like maybe it was Smith Rowe. It probably isn't. It's probably just me. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to bring on McKenney for Lakonga. Let's see if it makes any difference. I just feel like if I left it as it was, maybe I would have gone on to win the game, but maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe Monaco would have found themselves getting back in. So a couple of changes. They might help. They might not. We'll soon find out. Really? I've lost the ball. Oh, no. Yes, that's good. McKenney was in the right place at the right time. No! Oh, my. I just tried to run around him. I literally tried to run out of the box with no one behind me in case I lost it. I deserve to concede that. What am I thinking? Here, just give it to Nelson or, or whatever. Just something. Why have I tried to run around him? What a finish from Turam. He's a beast, by the way. He's a left winger, but 100% convert him to a striker. Six foot four, quick, strong. Improve that shooting. Although, based off that, I don't think you need to do too much. And you've got yourself an unreal striker. But you could leave him as a left winger as well. He's, he's very good at that. Is it Tammy that's just not giving me the extra something up top? I don't know. He scored. I can't, I can't complain. He might get another one here. Oh, he stopped his run. That's kind of frustrating. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's Tammy. He isn't in the series in terms of the pace and the movement, but he's, he's obviously got the height. He's got a great shot on him. But I feel like Tammy doesn't offer much else. His passing isn't superb. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? I'm actually going to make that last change now. We've got an extra sub available. I'm thinking we go with Enketia. Why not? Enketia up top. He's completely different to Tammy. The complete opposite player. Short, fast. And he's, a, he's just a finisher, a poacher. That's exactly what he is. And here we go. Enketia's through from Sterling's pass. See, Tammy can't do this. And look at Sterling. He's offside though, isn't he? He hasn't even scored. And he was onside. I gave up pretty much. I was sure he was off. Let's keep this alive. Come on. Nelson. And Ketia. Finish it. Oh, blocked. And headed out. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, go on, Saka. Oh, good save. 15 minutes left here. Corner coming in. McKenney's the target. McKenney, what a header. Again, this keeper, he's just on fire. He's saving everything at the moment. Saka, corner comes in again. And Ketty is the target this time. It didn't work. Here's Nelson. I'm going to try and get around this right side and cross it, I guess. I'm just going to try it. Oh, oh, it's hot. It's off the bar. Nice. Good touch onto Saka. Oh, he's knackered. He's got nothing left. I'm just going to hit it. And guess what, guys? Saved by the keeper again. <laughs> and why am I talking to Tavares on the on the on the side of the pitch there? He can't come on. We've used all our subs. There's no point chatting to him. Go on, Saka. 
No, that's going to be the keepers. Three minutes remaining, guys. It's not looking good. It's going to be another disappointing result at the beginning of this season. It's frustrating, isn't it? But, you know, I go through patches like this all the time. I will bounce back. It's about not doing too much damage that you can't fix it later on in the season. Oh, no. No. Oh, Salasu's just about got in there. But it's going to be a corner. Nope. It's a goal kick. We're going to have one last chance. I'm going to have to just smash this down the pitch. Just hope that we can win this header. Nope, that's it. Game over. A two-all draw to start off our Champions League campaign here at the Emirates against Monaco. Not good enough. Not good enough. Well, one positive from that second half, at least, was that I really enjoyed using Sterling behind the striker at Cam. It worked really well. And it's just reinforced my decision, I think, and my opinion that my front four are just great for rotating. We've got so many options and so many players that can play in multiple positions. The only player that I really can't move is Enesiri. I wouldn't want to play him on the wing or behind the striker. But yeah, really happy with the, Ster the Sterling signing. Uh, you'll do for me. He's happy to play anywhere. He was good at Cam. He really was. I might give it a go again, actually, up against Sheffield United. So Enesiri up top. Sterling at Cam, Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left. So, unfortunately, that means Erdegaard is the player that gets dropped. We simply have to win this game against Sheffield United, who, by the way, are above us in the league. So they've come up to the Premier League and did so well, got relegated the next season in awful form, and they've bounced back, and they're looking strong at the start of Season 4 here. Here's Ole Yinka. Isn't that the ex-Arsenal player? I think it might be. We had a player called Oli I don't know if, I, if he was one player that I released or something. They've got Backer at left back. They've got Edouard up front. They've actually got a very good team. Oh, my God. They almost scored straight away. Weigel. Great player. What? How have Sheffield United managed to do this? They must have had some big, big sales or something to raise money and bring in some of these players. We are over 15 minutes in, and I haven't had a single chance yet. Time to make that change. Here's Saka. Back post for Enesiri. What a ball. But he's missed it. How? Wow, okay. I'm surprised. I was ready to celebrate. I was pretty sure that was going in. And I've just noticed they've got a centre-back without a shirt number. This is a glitch in the game if a player is a certain age. I think it's if they're born after 2003. I might have got that wrong, but that's roughly what it is. Uh, basically, they have skinny arms, these teeny little spaghetti arms. Oh, my. <laughs> what is going on? They almost scored, probably should have scored. But, yeah, they have these little teeny skinny arms and they have no number on their shirt. And guess what? It's been a known issue since the game came out. In fact, me and a bunch of other creators that are part of the um, EA network, we were able to play the game about a month or two before it came out. It's kind of like an alpha. The glitch was in that, and we reported it. Still isn't fixed, and we're now in December. I mean, it's shocking. Absolutely terrible. One of the biggest things in career mode for a lot of players is building youth academies up and getting these gems in your team and growing them into superstars. And it's just completely ruined when the players have weird bugs, like no number, these teeny arms. Again, we've almost conceded there. Honestly, if you haven't seen it, Google skinny arms glitch FIFA. You will see they literally have arms that are this thin. It's hilarious. It looks so, so stupid. I don't know, man. I don't know if they're ever going to fix it at this rate. Hey, maybe it'll be a new feature in FIFA 23. Youth Academy. Players with numbers. <laughs> no, that can't happen. I'm joking about it, but it genuinely could happen. They might not fix it until the new game comes out. Oh, go on. Go on. Oh, that is against the run of play. Sheffield United have been all over us. But Osimen, Not Osimen. He was in the last game, Matt. Um, Enesiri with an incredibly powerful header... Second time he's had to, uh, well, he's had to improve on his first attempt that he missed earlier on to get this one. They have been absolutely fantastic in this game. How have they not scored? They deserve a goal. Sheffield United have been the better team, yet they find themselves 1-0 down. And we could make it worse here. Oh, almost lost it. And again, almost lost it. Give it to Martinelli. 
Over the top for Sterling now. On the inside. Oh, it's a pen! That has to be a penalty. I'm sorry, ref, but he's been completely demolished. Okay, well, can't complain, can I? I'm winning this game when I really shouldn't be. There we go. Tierney's in here. End of series. Do you fancy another header? Oh, it wasn't a good cross at all. Here's Sterling, though. Trying to get a shot away. Oh, thanks. Giving the ball back straight away. Oh, and then I've just given it back. You know, I just felt bad. You know, when they give me the ball like that, I just... I feel like I need to give it back to them. <laughs> well done, Thomas Partey. He's gone on the left here with the Nassiri. Go on, Martinelli. Make that run. Into Sterling instead. Oh, now what? Over to Martinelli. This happens a lot. I just lose momentum. But here we go. Sterling. Shoot. Oh, no. He's pulled his hamstring. Sterling is injured. I saw something pop up as he shot. And now he stopped running. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. He's been so good in the last few games. I'm hoping it isn't a hamstring. That could be a while that he's out. He's, he's running again now. That's a good sign. But no, he's, he's injured. Guys, I'm going to have to take him off. I cannot believe it. Sterling has picked up an injury. We're going to bring in Erdegaard. I'm going to take off Saka, who is clearly exhausted. Um, oh, dear. What do I do here? This is a problem. Selling Pepe is a problem. Uh, I guess I go Smith Rowe and then put Erdegaard on the right side. Do you know what? I'm going to give Smith Rowe a go on the right. It might work. It might work out. Why has Erdegaard not got a plus three there? I think it's a, a visual glitch. If you look on the right side, he's got plus three. Yeah, it's just a visual glitch. Let's take Sanchez off and bring in Maitland Niles. Why not? Every now and again, I like to throw him on in midfield. I do like him there. What we need to do now is just get the ball, get it out of play, because I'm playing with 10 men, effectively, with Sterling being this injured. He could barely run there, could he? Off the ball, he's fine. As soon as I passed it to him, turns into a crippled old man. If they score, though, oh, what a clearance that is. That's a good pass. And now they've equalised. Who saw that come in? What a pass through. Just something you can't defend against sometimes. And Eduard. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant striker. Look at that for a pass. So perfectly weighted. Okay, we've got 14 minutes, including injury time on top, to try and get a winner here. And as I said at the start of this game, this is a must win. I've given away the ball again. I've got to win this game. I'm starting to fall away from the top four already in a season where arguably I should be going for the title. It's not looking good, guys. I can't even get the ball. Honestly, though, Sheffield United deserve something out of the game. Probably a win, to be honest. I'm just not playing very well at the moment, am I? Just really struggling in these Premier League games and clearly... The game against Monaco as well in the Champions League. Come on. One last chance. What a pass. What a pass. Come on. On your right foot, Martinelli. Why have you headed that? Why would you head that? Oh, game over. It's going to be more dropped points. I can't believe this. Please don't be a serious injury. Please, 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 please. Four weeks. Oh, it's not... It's not terrible. But it could have been better. It could have been, you know, a week, maybe. But no, I think that kind of injury was always going to be somewhat serious. So we've got the Carabao Cup first game of the season against Huddersfield. Now I am going to create the second team. I always delete my second team when it's the transfer window and then recreate it once I've got my players in. I'm a bit OCD about it. So let's go ahead and do this again. So second team. And of course, with the Carabao Cup, it's not the most important to me. I'm not too bothered about potentially not winning it. So I will use the second team. We're going to go with Abraham, uh, Smith Rowe, Nelson. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is the problem, isn't it? Sterling's injured at the moment. Normally he would be in there, um, probably on the right. Yeah, I do need to bring in a winger in the uh, the window for sure. At centre midfield, we'll go with Lukonga and McKenney, of course. Left back, Tavares. And then, obviously, the Sally brothers. And then we go with Maitland Niles. And then, if I can select him, the goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Who, who's captain for this team, though? That's the question. I guess 
It's either Maitland... Oh, it's Sterling, isn't it? It has to be Sterling. He'd have to be. Otherwise, I'd say it's Maitland Niles, Samby, Smithrow, Saliba. Ramsdale could be a future captain, to be honest. Okay, that's the new second team for this season. Of course, Sterling is not going to be available for this game, but that's okay. We can go without him for this one against Huddersfield. And we will go with... I don't want to use Saka. Oh, that's the wrong team. Who will it be instead? I don't know who to use instead of Sterling. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a problem. I, I guess we go with Martinelli for this one and then put him on the left and have Nelson on the right. Okay, let's give this a go. We're going to go ahead and do a quick sim and replace Sterling on the bench. And it's a 1-0 loss. Do you know what? I... <laughs> I, I, I do question this game sometimes. But hey, look, you can lose these games. And I never seem to learn, do I? <laughs> I don't want to play the Carabao Cup games. I've got FA Cup, Champions League, the league. That is more than enough, okay? The Carabao Cup isn't even part of my objective. So I, ju I just, honestly, I, I don't really care. The downside is now I won't have more games for my second team to play in. But it is what it is. What can I do, guys? Sometimes you lose them. If I had gone into the match simulation, maybe it would have been better because quick simming does seem to be a little bit broken. It always is, isn't it? Erdegaard, you'll do for me. Says he's happy to play in any position. And now we go up against West Ham. It's another London derby. And let me just remind you guys, we've been awful. We're five games in and we've got seven points. <laughs> Is this the worst start? I think it probably is up there as one of the worst starts we've had in this series. It must be. Seven points from five games is a joke. Bubbles. Bubbles everywhere, guys. Bubbles. <laughs> I love the bubbles. But it would do my head in if it was every single home game. I don't think I could do a West Ham career mode. <laughs> Not on next gen. I'm guessing on PC, this wouldn't be a thing. It's funny, actually. I've always wanted to do a West Ham career mode because I love the stadium. It just looks nice. Look at the pitch. It's just beautiful, isn't it? But uh, yeah, the bubbles would definitely annoy me after a while. Hey, there's quite a few things that annoy me about this game. Like, you know, the pitch looking awful after a few months. Completely stupid. This is a good move, though. Sanchez over to end the series. That is an absolutely superb way to start the game. Beautiful team play. 1-0 already. This is the game where we turn things around. Okay, guys, we win this and then we go on a nice little run of form and win 40 games in a row and win the treble. Okay, <laughs> that's where we go from here. Tommy Asu's in here. Go on. Go on, Tommy. Go on. Oh, <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. I don't need to do that anymore. That was me for the first two and a half, three seasons, just trying to get him a goal. I've had two with him now. I don't need to worry about it, but even now, I still think to myself, go on, Tommy, get yourself a goal. Super Tommy Yasu. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's an equaliser. Nope, Martinez. Thank you very much. We're in again here. Come on, Saka. In behind the number five. I don't know who it is. I'm going to play this one backwards. Into end of series. It's blocked. We're getting unlucky in this game. In the last one against Sheffield United, they were the ones being unlucky. Now it's me. Corner comes in from Saka. Martinelli off the bar. Yep, yeah, okay. I know where this game's going. They will equalise soon. Hey! Send him off. Nah, it's going to be a yellow. But they're going to equalise and then they'll go on to win and I'll hit the bar 20 times. And <laughs> Is this going to be a red? No, it is a yellow. That would have been harsh, I think. But Erdegaard is good at free kicks. What can we do from here? Come on. Go on. Oh, it's off the bar again. It wasn't a great free kick. I could have done that a little bit better, I think. I rushed it. Corner coming in. Martinelli's there. Again, it's saved. Who is Trot? Can he just trot on out of here? He's absolutely dominating me every time I shoot. Come on. That should have been your header there as well. I'm just going to hit it. Sanchez. Yeah, on his left foot. Don't know why I expected anything more there. Here we go. Space for Enesiri. Again, they're sliding in like madmen. If he makes contact with Enesiri there and he goes down, that's a red card. I wish he did now. Although he would have 
potentially injured him, that would have been bad. We can't have another injury, that's for sure. But yeah, since the last update on FIFA, you know, when they made the CPU more aggressive, it is a bit much. I think they need to rein it in a little bit. They are constantly sliding in from behind. Oh, the bubbles are back. Hopefully that's the last time we'll see them this season. They're not going to score in this game, okay? I felt like in the first half, you know, I got very unlucky and that they're probably going to equalize and go on to win the game. But I need to change that mentality if I'm going to win this game. And hold on to the 1-0. Oh, almost got that into end of Siri there. And you know I was going to blast it in with his left foot. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> what? How? Okay, first of all, a left foot shot from Sanchez. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I just thought I'm going to have a crack. It comes off the bar and surely one of the defenders gets there first. I don't know how Enesiri has scored this. Oh my God. The number two there hasn't even attempted to clear it. From what I can tell, West Ham have completely rebuilt their defence over the last three and a half, four seasons. They've got completely new players in every position. It hasn't worked for them. I think right now... In the Premier League, in real life, West Ham are one of the more solid defensive teams, especially with that midfield of Suchek and Rice, who have both left by the looks of it. They are not very good defensively. Their keeper has been keeping them, keeping them in this game. <laughs> no pun intended, but slightly. And Nasiri over the top, maybe? Is it going to work? Oh my God, it might. No. Cardoso got back. Yeah, I think if they had a slightly stronger defence... They will definitely be up there. But, you know, the only player that I've seen in their team that is part of their team right now in real life is Lanzini. I think everyone else has been replaced. Actually, no, Ben Rama's in there. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's an interesting one. They've definitely not had some good seasons or some good transfer windows, that's for sure. We needed this result so badly. I'm feeling very relieved right now. And it could get even worse for West Ham. No, it's a block. Seven minutes remaining. I haven't made any changes yet. I should probably bring on some fresh legs. Let's do that now with five minutes remaining. Just quick subs. I'm not too worried who they are necessarily. Just swap them out. So McKenney can come in. Smith Rowe can come in. And yeah, we don't have uh, any wingers really. Do you know what? Enesiri on the right <laughs> and Abraham up top. Why not? Enesiri is left footed. He's rapid. I know he's a big guy and his acceleration isn't the best, but once he gets going, no one will stop him. But uh, at this rate, the ball's not even going to go out, so the subs won't even make it onto the pitch. But that's okay. As long as I got the win today, that's all I wanted. And then uh, hopefully we'll be back into the top half of the table. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. Let's get back in the top half of the table in season four. That is shocking. It really is. Into injury time here. Just the one minute. And West Ham are definitely not going to win this game now. I'm just going to boot this down the pitch or not. Just pass it straight to Abraham who touched it. Last touch of the game. Well done, Abraham. 2-0 here at the London Stadium. And that is a vital result. Oh, and Manchester United lost. Get in there. They are still our main rivals. Okay, they really are. Smith throw is going to be, what, 83 rated now? Nice. And that is going to be it for this season. Well, I'll just leave him on that. That's absolutely fine. So the next game in the next episode is back in the Champions League as we go into October. Of course, a draw in our first game against Monaco wasn't the best result. But uh, if we can get a win against Lokomotiv Moscow, that'll be absolutely fine. I'm not concerned. We should still win the group. I'll be back on Monday and we will continue and hopefully recover some form because the start of this season has been, well... Three out of 10, it's been poor.